and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shroomsmith. Uh, this is a new, brand new deck, new donation deck that um, just came in. As you might have saw if you're watching the other videos, we were planning on uh, some Swain Burn. We'll be playing that tomorrow. Um, but uh, starting with uh, this deck, so this is just going to be a fun deck built around Funsmith. So all of your spells and skills deal one additional damage. Um, or one extra damage. And so the, our main combo is having Funsmith with Riptide Rex, where if we plunder, we cannon barrage seven times, but with a Funsmith in play, it'll do three damage to the unit each time or two to the enemy Nexus. That's really the goal of our deck. That's what we're trying to do is just have that fun combo together. Well, we so we need to turn on plunder. So we got a couple of ways to do that. We have um, Yordle Grifter getting us those warning shots, but then also Puff Caps with the Puff Caps uh, trigger plunder. So we got Teemo, we got Puff Cap Peddler, giving our opponent some Puff Caps. Um, I'm not sure if, I just really don't know if the Puff Caps will do additional damage with the Funsmith in play, so we're going to find out, I suppose. Um, let's see, and then also Misfortune, another good card with Funsmith, because whenever the allies attack, we'll do two to to battling enemies and the enemy nexus so a, another good card to go with funsmith so we got misfortune in here with some scouts to help out uh, misfortune so that's kind of our that's our deck um you know take advantage of funsmith and funsmith plus riptide rex that should be a fun combination to try out so here we go we're gonna go play five games over in ranked uh, like we always do even with our uh, donation decks and everything like that. Ooh, Twisted Vi got a, a difficult deck to start off with. Let's get rid of the deck hand. Don't have anything really to, to trigger that. Okay, camera reset. There we go. There's a fun smith. And a Teemo! Get him, Teemo! Yeah! Yeah, sometimes the camera lags out. Thanks for letting me know. I can't I can't really ever tell it from my Success. vantage point. Because it's just a little small, you know, it's just a small screen of where my camera is on my monitor way over there. And it's it's right where the light shines down on the, the monitor and there's a reflection. So it's not something that I watch for too much. No, I haven't checked the driver. Remember y'all saying that. I wrote that down as something to do, but I haven't checked the, the driver yet. So if they're going to have the three mana 4-3, because that's what it seems like they always have. Okay, well, they had Shadow Assassin this time. Um, wanted to attack right away before that. Okay, a couple... Couple Yordle Grifters. Well, we're not trying to plunder too much. Like, try, we're not trying to steal their stuff too much. No Black Market Merchant, no Filford Goods. Um, but got these Yordle Grifters because of how good a Warning Shot is. My plan was Razor Scale Hunter, but now I'm going to go Misfortune with Make It Rain. Yeah, like the Misfortune Make It Rain combo. All right, Devon. We're going to have a War Mother's Call deck when you get to 10,000 channel points. Sounds good with me. That's a good sign. 
That's a good sign. I like getting those out of their hand. And not getting free three ones from them. It'd be bad if one of those make a true shot barrage. That'd be bad. I guess they could just go block block and then have a static shock and finish off these two. You cannot escape. But oh well. That's just the way it is. So they discarded the Hextech Transmogulators. That's one of the that was a card that they made. Um from the Flash of Brilliance. So they have one extra six plus mana card in hand. Static's usually just a one up. Well, Funsmith plus Make It Rain. Do two damage to everything. One girl wrecking crew. That is a good combo. A little adjustment for a lot of pow. Here's the fun part. Night falls. Here's the fun part. They say. Ooh, I got some fight in ya. We'll take that. I don't know why they didn't challenge anything. I think they should have. I don't know why they didn't. Could combine it. Uh, these to have the Mega Rains do three damage. Oh wait, did that? Did y'all see? Did that do one damage or two damage? That puff cap. Did anybody notice? That doing one damage or two damage? Yeah, you don't want to class me. The puff cap did one. No, it doesn't do two. That's sad. It's not right to just pass, is it? Have them waste their seven mana and just waste their turn. That's not right, is it? All right, so the, each warning shot did, did two. And there we go. GG. One and oh.
beating one of the best decks with our Funsmith deck. Let's go. Funsmith was pretty sweet. You know, make it rain doing two damage each. Not bad. And then two damage warning shots, you know, so you just get burst speed mystic shots. It's not bad either. Alright, Ezreal Karma. Yeah, they had they had some weird lines. But we'll take it. We will take it. Karma as I'm just getting another attacker out here. I think this is the kind of like they're a very spell heavy deck. I think against spell heavy decks, you should be playing pre combat more often. Playing stuff pre combat. <clears throat> kind of the the one exception is they could be uh, could have a good amount of yones. That's something to watch out for. I don't miss. <laughs> All right, well. Sure. Be a bunch of free mystic shots. Not something I want to see. Come on, Misfortune. I couldn't couldn't draw you last turn. Oh, I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Yuck. Is that is that like the worst card to steal from their deck? Jury rig. The order rewards its fate. Probably is right. Mystic shot that thing, keep it from blocking. So if they want to block. They have to block with Ezreal. Good amount of damage got in there. Yeah, that was the worst. Yeah, it's got to be the worst card to get. I mean, it, we could have also just missed the Yordle Grifter trigger, so I guess I shouldn't complain. Gotcha. I shouldn't really complain, but... It's got to be the worst one. So, Razor Skill Hunter does grant Vulnerable for good, so that's nice. We can challenge uh, the Ezreal any way we want to. Even with a Jury Rig. And I want to have two mana before I play Funsmith, right? I want to be able to play Funsmith and still have two mana to be able to go make a rain, uh, warning shot, all that kind of stuff. Now they get the 2 1. Maybe that means I miss Fortune. Yeah, gonna try Misfortune. Uh, just playing the deckhand first. 
give them a little, little less knowledge about that. Like maybe they play, um, Imagination is not so like maybe they tap out for something, but no not looking like it. Okay, so the uh, don't think we attack with these. Didn't take out Dragling or anything like that, but obviously we have to get Ezreal out of here. That's first up. one drop to get. You don't have to do the discard once, it's just last breath, draw one. Better than this jury rig. Alright, well, there's the draw one. Fortune favors the bold. The ocean is no place for the weak. No. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Just stop killing all my stuff. Always removal. Always removal. Another day in the field. Uh, we want to draw Riptide Rex. We could try to set up Fun Smith plus Riptide Rex. Yeah, we never know what hit him. Got him five puff caps. Okay, okay. Don't blink, or you miss me. It's not exactly legal, but it is exactly awesome. I don't miss. I guess I have to block with Teemo, don't I? So I don't, Teemo just dies anyway, and they get the free target. Alfredo, big Alfredo. They grow up so I just realized your name is Big Alfredo. I always read it as like Big Alfredo. Big Alfredo. Big 
Fredo. Well, two, two Ezreals are dead. That's something. Alright, that has to be a mistake to just play one. Like that. Like, what are they doing? Next turn, that's going to give you two Karmas and two spells. But even even if you want to do it now, you got to do that before damage and maybe save your Ezreal, right? Let's see what you get. Basically playing that to just give them three puff caps. It's not great. Ugh, we're gonna get two more draglings, and yeah, these draglings are being annoying. I doubt we're gonna be Karma. Um, yeah, Riptide Rex is really our our best and only great draw right now. They definitely could have just killed me if they just didn't attack with their Ezreal. Um, or use, like, one of these cards they had to save Ezreal. Like, we, we should just be dead right now. So, at least we have more life. That's good. But, like, we, we really shouldn't be alive. Yeah, we, we really should not be alive whatsoever. Like... They basically let their Ezreal die last turn. Riptide Rex. Probably still don't have much of a chance, even if we draw Riptide Rex. doesn't do any like these things don't do anything unless they play the two spells so we'll see if they play the two spells if they do then i'm gonna mystic shot an eye of the dragon All right, dog, are just scratching the scratch, scratching the chair. No, I don't think we need salvage. I don't. I think we we ran into. A karma control deck, and that's this is exactly what karma control deck do. They outgrind everything, and so yeah. If we if you were just going to be playing against karma control all the time, yes, we would one salvage. That's not a very popular 
kind of deck. It's just not it's not a very good deck right now. Like the, those control decks, you you don't see them hardly at all. But yeah, we just we just got paired against one. Um, I think against against most things, salvage is just going to be too slow and uh, not good enough because how slow it is. But you just saw like the end of us getting uh, grind out by an Ezreal Karma deck, which is just not. Not something that I think you need to build your deck around in the current metagame. Uh, let's get rid of these two. I'll keep Make It Rain Misfortune. Yeah, we needed a Rex on like turn 8, turn 9. Um, you know, at that point it was too late, but yeah, we just needed a Rex on like turn 8, turn 9, and we could have finished that out. So, it's all good. Hmm. Well, make it... We don't really need the, the second damage on the Make It Rain right now. These one, t one health things. Yeah, I would probably rather have Progress Day than... Probably rather have Progress Day than Salvage. Choose one or the other. That went pretty well. It wasn't perfect. Perfect would have been killing all three. But overall, pretty well. No complaints. Hmm. The thing about playing Misfortune is that if they play like a, a 3 2 or a 3 3 or something like that, then I don't really want to attack because I don't want Misfortune to die. Um, so it may be better to play like an Island Navigator or a Yordle Grifter instead. But if I play these things, we're we're just kind of admitting that we're not going to level up Misfortune. I think that's okay. Um, get, what, 10 points of power and health? Four mana, that's pretty good. Hey, what's up, Balding Yeti? I've been doing good, my man. How have you been doing? Just been doing the same old, same old, streaming every day. Uh, let's see what we get. Okay. That's a good card. That's a good card against a bunch of a bunch more one health things. Having fun playing Runeterra. All right, so what are they challenging? Balding Yeti with the sub. I'm just I'm just keeping my life total high and, and trading stuff off. Maybe that, that was that's an unnecessary trade. Uh, especially since that thing had scout and we'd have the misfortune with the two atta two attacks. All right, so we hit our sub goal today, our bonus sub goal. That means we're gonna be having some bonus games after this. We're gonna be playing, playing some bonus games. And I'll kind of ask y'all what, what deck y'all want to see. We'll just have some fun with that. Oh, 
All right, double spell with Peddler Misfortune. Awesome. So yeah, that's, that's a new thing that we're doing. So every that's what I'm doing for each sub goal hit. Whenever we hit a sub goal, then this will be for you know won't be for YouTube. It'll just be us chilling here on the stream. <laughs> yeah, getting overtime. So start doing that instead of doing after a while of doing like the twelve hour streams. The twelve hour streams are just kind of too difficult. But I can do another, you know, half hour to an hour or so of of gaming. Play another three to five games afterwards, depending on the day. Today I actually have uh, actually have some plans after this. I was going to be playing some video games with Boot. Y'all know Boot, here in, uh, who's a mod here in the channel and everything. So we'll probably just play three more games afterwards for today. But a lot of days I don't have things scheduled. We'll be doing five games. Um, am I keeping this? Maybe we'll get rid of Peddler. I definitely want to keep Make It Rain and Hired Gun. We're going to be playing against the Noxes of Lucid deck. Karstenos! Also, keeping that hype... Uh, keeping that hype going with that sub. Thank you so much. Cool, thanks Wakanda. So that's the new... That's the new Infi Shroom list. Okay, cool. Save that. Looking for trouble. It found you. <clears throat> I hope they don't pick this back up. No! I picked it back up. Time to make some coins. Do I actually? I may. I may be supposed to actually trade and attack with misfortune and, and trade. Yeah. Yeah, we're supposed to trade. A four-three elusive just hits so hard. You know. Just hits too hard. Okay, so yours is more combo. Cool, cool, cool. Transfusion's the weird one, right? Is that like, as far as timing for me goes. They're like this, and so now they can transfusion keep the Crimson Disciple alive, um, but we're not taking extra damage, and we're not having either of the higher guns die. I mean, well, yeah, we take the, the two damage there, but we're not taking. Y'all, y'all know what I mean. Would have taken that two damage. Also, if I would have done it, then. <sighs> if they have another four three elusive, I'm going to be sad. 
but I do think I'm supposed to play stuff pre-combat against a, an elusive deck like where we're racing. I'm sad. And still picks that up. It's not the 4-3 elusive, but still picks that up. Yeah, this will be my first time playing the Cloud Drinker combo deck. It will play that on mo on Monday, Wakanda. That'll be my first time playing that. The I'm not greedy. My friend Ugh, we missed. We just drew two uh, PNZ cards in a row. So I was hoping that one would hit, but no. Nope. They have another transfusion to save this thing. Oh, I should go I should go after the conspirator because of retreat. Like this is a great card to retreat return. Oh, I should have gone for the conspirator. Yeah, it's a five games in a row. Okay, I gotta stretch out the clicking fingers. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to know the deck pretty well, huh? Well, that's a win. An auction fervor that's not killing me, that's a win. We know we're drawing a PNZ card. Another peddler. Have a mushroom. Have three. I heard about you. Another value of coin. I take two damage by attacking with these because they just block with the Crimson Disciple. But it makes it makes the other three attacking better. Let's get a good look at you. It's too late for you. What? When when the combo goes off, you get like a hundred shrooms, shrooms per peddler. Per, dang. No, don't re-pick up your shadow assassin. No. This Crimson Disciple is the only thing that's killing me. Oh, I can't wait. Have a mushroom. Have three. I've heard about you. So they have three mushrooms right now. This would be six and nine. The reason not to play warning shot, of course, is. Is Riptide Rex. But we give him six puff caps. It's probably not worth it giving him six puff caps. Oh dang. Alright. So maybe we need that. So not just dead if I attack out. Is 
There's a lot of things we die to, but I can't really stop that right now. Because they're not, you know, if they if they have decimate, they just, uh, yeah, like they're not dead. They can just. Um, They can just block, 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 go decimate. Come here, darling. You call that sneaky? This one's trouble. I didn't feel like it was the, the best time to block with the Teemo. Um, you know, we'd certainly block with the Teemo now if we can, but nope, never mind. They ended up having 8 direct damage. So, you know, I went to 8. Too low of a life total. Those Crimson Disciples dealt... Just Crimson Disciple Trigger dealt 10 damage to me <laughs> that game. No, I wouldn't just win if I would have blocked. I, I think I still lose if I would have blocked because they, they wouldn't need to... They didn't need to block in such a way to have their 2-2 elusive die, so like I would have just been down at 2 if I would have blocked and they, I still would not have killed them, and then they would have just killed me with their 2-2 elusive. So no, I wouldn't have just won if I would have blocked. Yeah, Crimson Disciple... Pretty strong. There was a few times that I need them to not pick up their thing, their unit, but they picked up the unit. So obviously I could have thermogenic beamed, but I wanted I wanted to keep thermogenic beam for, for Crimson Disciple. <laughs> yeah, after just taking millions of damage from Crimson Disciple last game. Wanted to be able to do that. Hopefully they have another one health card that we get to make it rain. Everything's better with company. See that that worked out. Sometimes things work out. <clears throat> now we'll still probably lose this game. <laughs> Alright, I'll just kill that. The good guys, but not that good. Okay, good. No four three. Guns blade. That was a big key last. That was like the that was the most important card they had last game, right? Like the four three. You know, they had the Crimson Disciple that I almost killed and had vulnerable, and then I didn't challenge it right away, and they had the four three that picked it up, and then and then the four three trades with my misfortune. That was the. Uh, that was the difference. For the Empire. Should have simply. Uh, should have simply just attacked right away and challenged the Crimson Disciple. Demolitionist back in your hand. Don't do it. Don't do it. Dang. I'm six. Love you.
cute when you're armed. Firepower's always in style. Well, I'm gonna kill these things. On, We're at six. Time to make coin. Could kill me. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Be nothing left when I'm this was a great draw, this Mega Rain. That was a great draw. Let's move. Otherwise, you know, decimate. You know, just go with that and decimate. Okay. Bark beast. The Yordle here is with me. Whew, close games there. Close games. All right, we ended up three That's and two with our Fun Smith deck, Shroom Smith. Those last two games kind of forgot what our deck was all about, but man, we we never. I don't think we ever drew Riptide Rex in any of those games, did we? You know, we have three Riptide Rex. Uh, we did draw some fun smiths in the first games, but I don't think we ever drew Riptide Rex. Um, you know, that's that's supposed to be what our, our combo is built on. Um, playing three of each for a reason. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I think, yes, yeah, five games, we had zero Rexes in five games. That's crazy that that happened like that, but I guess that's just how it goes. Like... Like, how many cards did we draw in the five games? Probably, what, 40, 50? Um, you know, probably something like that, and zero of them were Riptide Rexes. Probably close to 50. But, you know, that's it's a probability that it happens. You know, that's... But. All right, Shroomsmith. Uh, pretty fun deck. And uh, Funsmith. Funsmith looked good. Like, this card did look good, having everything do an extra point of damage. Uh, this did really look good. Yes. Yes, you're you're a puppy dog. Um, all right, so there we go. That's that's Shroomsmith. <laughs> these these dogs. Yeah, that's, that's the end of the, the Funsmith deck. Anyway, uh, but those of y'all watching later on YouTube, stop. Uh, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments as well. Uh, let me know if you got any other good ideas for Funsmith. If you got anything, um, you know, any other kind of ideas with Funsmith, uh, let me know. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Shroomsmith, and I'll see you for the next video.